Hey viewers, belated happy 2025. I don't like throwing away uh, broken things, I'd rather fix them or at least repurpose. So when uh, the charger of my electric drill broke down, I decided to go ahead and uh, fix it. Please stay with me while watching the attempt of bringing this uh, whole device back to life. Disclaimer, the following show is for entertainment purposes only. The repairs shown here may or may not work for you, your gadget, or your sanity. I'm not responsible if you attempt to replicate these steps and end up with a still broken item, extra parts that don't belong, or a fiery explosion. Please, no fiery explosions. By watching this, you agree that if things go sideways, you'll take it with a laugh and not a lawsuit. So grab your tools, your courage, and maybe a fire extinguisher. Good luck. By measuring the whole stuff, I knew that the charger is broken, so I started uh, by uh, opening the device and uh, looking inside. No, nothing suspicious uh, until right now, but uh, at first sight, it turned out that the fuse was blown. I did the measurements uh, before, and it, what you can see here is that uh, all those components I'm uh, talking about are already removed uh, from the thing. I carried on with inspecting uh, the full bridge rectifier and half of it was burned as well. So until now I knew there was something really wrong with uh, the whole stuff. Let me show you what I discovered next. Those four resistors were also burned. So there was something massively wrong with the whole, uh, whole charger. I started looking on the internet how to fix it and found out that people claim that uh, there is some design fault with those chargers and, uh, and it's better to get a new one. So I went to China Export, <laughs> AliExpress, and got myself this one. Here you can read that this lithium-ion charger, and there are a lot of a lot of mistakes, spelling mistakes. Even though there is a CE mark, which uh, in this case means probably China Export. But uh, taking it out of the box, it turns out that uh, there was something rattling inside, like they sent me a rattlesnake or something, I don't know. I had to open this thing before I even plugged it in. I used the trick of uh, brushing white spirit along uh, uh, the glue line, and I was uh, not patient enough, that's why you see those uh, scratch marks. And please, please use the correct tool, because a utility knife is not the proper thing you should be using. Why? Well, have a look, the knife breaks in 3, 2, 1... Damn it. Fortunately, I didn't cut myself. I just carried on. Silly enough. But then, reverted to a proper knife. Now, opening the, uh, the charger was actually easier than it seems uh, in uh, the video. Once uh, I got it open, look what I found. Look, look. <laughs> there is a loose capacitor. It's not soldered or, or, or uh, the legs are just too short. So let me take the PCB out and see if we can solder it back. Well, most likely, uh, yes, yes. So let me just put it back with proper polarity, of course. Put some flux and uh, get my soldering iron up the temperature and just with some thin I fix this capacitor uh, back on uh, its place. Well, I'm not uh, mastering the soldering yet, but uh, I'm doing my best. So, please stay with me. Well, look, this stuff is uh, holding well. I should uh, replace the tip of my soldering iron. This this one is not the best, but I'm uh, still having troubles finding the right size. Nevertheless, the capacitor is holding uh, well. Now that the capacitor is soldered, let's clean it up. Well, I'm having only some bioethanol. I should uh, buy some proper isopropyl alcohol, but I'm not doing much of a fixing of those devices, so I'm uh, not yet uh, having all the complete equipment. Let me put the whole stuff back uh, into the original enclosure. Well, it takes some time to, to figure out how uh, the stuff was uh, placed. And... Uh, once we close it, it should be working well. So now, let's just uh, click it in place. I will not glue it, because I may be opening it sometime in the future. Just let's connect it, and and let's hope that it won't, won't explode. 
Now, first of all, once we connected it, let's check what's the output voltage, if it's correct, if we will not burn the whole stuff. Polarity is given, so I'm, I'm just uh, putting the probes of my multimeter into the barrel uh, connector. Yes, I need a third hand here, but uh, uh, output is around 21 volts, so it should be okay. Now, now we know that, uh, that the thing is uh, working. Anyway, I'm not sure about the quality, about how, how clean uh, the whole uh, power supply is, uh, respective uh, to emission and uh, interference. So my advice would be not to run it in the near neighborhood of any medical or life support equipment. But I'm, I'm not worried about it because my garage is uh, far away from those devices. Now I'm uh, uh, stripping the cables of uh, the original charger connector. I checked the polarity before. Now let me put some uh, californium on uh, on the ends. Well, you can, uh, you can also use uh, you can also use uh, uh, some flux and uh, I will uh, put here uh, this barrel connector receptacle because my original idea was to uh, place it, use this connector to, to, to put it uh, onto the battery. So uh, we can use the power supply, the new power supply, just to plug in and charge the battery directly. Because I have only one battery, so, so it's, uh, it's not really a problem to modify it this way. But just to check it, if I can charge the battery pro properly, I put it this uh, connector here on the uh, original charger. Now that it's done, let me check if after connecting those two uh, devices we still get the proper voltage on uh, the output pins of the charger sorry for uh, the light reflexes but it was 21 trust me it was 21 now uh, if i open the battery to find the location for uh, this uh, receptacle you uh, may notice that uh, i may get disappointed why? Because this battery, this uh, battery pack was uh, designed so well that there is almost no space left inside to put any kind of connector. Yes, just have a look, have a look. Well, sorry for a, for a camera shot. Well, I'm, uh, I'm still doing my best. No, there is, there is no place to connect it to those uh, pins and those pins uh, on the top of the battery pack, they, they must stay here because this is how we connect to uh, dr the drill. Let me come back to uh, the original idea where we just use this uh, external power supply. We connect it to the uh, gutted original power supply at uh, the charger, sorry, the charger. And we just put the battery. Now uh, you can see that uh, the diode turned into red, which indicates that uh, the battery is charging. Now that the diode is green, we can assume that the battery is fully charged. So let's disconnect it from the mains uh, power supply. Let's remove the battery from uh, from the uh, modified charger and check. Well, yes, it's it, it is fully charged. You see, it is fully charged. Uh, the charge the the charge indicator gives that it's uh, fully charged. Let's check if it still works within the drill. Oh yes, it does. It does. The drill uh, works. So now it all can be saved. All the functions of the drill are still working. So we can say, well, the the repair was successful. Well, if you can call can call it a repair. Well, basically, if you uh, have an analogy of a car and the engine is blown and you replace the engine, well, it's also repairing the car. You don't rebuild the engine, you can replace it as well. So I'm, I'm still hoping that you can count it as a successful repair. Unfortunately, the case, the case is just slightly too small and I cannot fit everything inside. So uh, I have to come up with some other solution and maybe maybe i can come up with something we can uh, use this original charger just to extract the plate as a connector uh, anyway i'll keep you informed and if i don't post anything within a say half a year it means that uh, that the charger 
I ordered in China uh, was really bad quality and unsafe and my house burned down. <laughs> I hope it won't happen. Thanks for watching and see you next time.